this video we will show you how to use the cross-section tool. In this part you will learn how to create a plane in the cross-section tool, how to use the 2D measurements and how to measure an area. In the toolbar on the right side you will find the cross-section tool icon. Click it and a new pop-up window will appear. To create a new plane using the cross-section tool, hover the cursor over a point where you wish to begin. Hold the left mouse button and drag the mouse to create a plane. If you don't want to see the annotations on the plane, you must go to the cross-section window on the right side and click Hide Annotations. If you wish to see only one side of the model in relation to the cross-section plane, click the eye icon in the cross-section window toolbar and more options will appear. Now, if you wish to see only the left side, click the corresponding icon. If you wish to see the other side, click the next one. The 2D measurements work on the cross-section grid. Once you have created a plane or cross-section grid, you will be able to do a 2D measurement directly on this grid. If you hover the mouse cursor over various icons in the 2D measurements window, you'll be able to see what kind of measurement each of them enables. Click an icon and set the measurement point on the grid in the usual manner. You can delete this plane if you wish. Click the Delete Plane button in the lower right corner of the cross-section window. The pop-up will ask if you want to save the plane or not. For the purpose of this video, we will make a new plane. Now, if we disable the lower jaw visibility and turn the model around, we will be able to move the plane up and down using the slider in the cross-section window. We are even able to move it all the way above the jaw or just keep it between the teeth. To zoom the cross-section view in or out, you can use the mouse scroll. In order to measure an area, put two points on the cross-section view and click the Measure an Area button. Now, if you hover the cursor over the yellow area, you will be able to see the size of it. We hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.